cell phone. I, I thought it was my phone book and, and my phone. Um, that's actually kind of sad to even admit that. But what's really interesting though about this, if you look at both sides, is that the 15% on each side, that's 30%. The rest of us, the majority in this room, that's 70%. Okay, look at technology typically in, in this perspective, and that is we adapt to it when it impacts us, when it comes into our world and we need, it addresses issues that are important to us. Some of that's earlier, some of that's later. I also call, call that crossing the threshold of acknowledgement. You don't wake up one day and say, I'm going to go out and buy an insurance policy. Usually there's something that crosses, makes you cross that threshold of acknowledgement where you say, you know, I need to take care of this issue or this problem. and that's really how the 70% of us in this room address that. And so that's actually part of the message that I wanted to address today because the reality is this, we have issues in our industry that are paramount to everybody in this room. Not only is it paramount to the services that in our industry, but it's also to, to us that, that service you as well. And we need to address these. And so in getting started with the agenda, it's pretty straightforward folks. And that is what I'd like to do first is have a discussion about what those industry issues are and then more specifically about caregiver injuries. And then as we address caregiver injuries, really focus on three things. One is how they impact services from a financial standpoint, also in employee retention, and then also in workplace satisfaction. Then what I'd like to do is really talk about Stryker's approach and then how we're approaching it from really four primary points. And those primary points really are, are what I call touch points where we're interacting with our patients. And that's typically in the stairwells, okay? Transporting the patient in the stairwell. Secondly is raising and lowering a cot. And the third is lateral transferring a patient from one surface to the other. And the fourth then would be loading and unloading from the rear of a vehicle. And then what I'd like to do after we go through that is, is to present you some scientific and clinical results that we've gathered over the years as it relates to your peers that have adopted technology and how that technology has impacted their service. And then lastly, what I'd like to do, um, and really this is gonna be dependent upon the room, is have a robust discussion about technology. And um, feel free to talk about anything that, that addresses the issues we talked about, maybe things that have impacted your services, um, or if you wanna talk about the new iPhone and the new apps on there, I'm, I'm more than open to talking about that as well. So let's get started. The issues, we know we have a challenging work environment that our uh, medics work in. And actually, it's the third most injurious occupation in the United States. It's only behind being a quahog farmer. Who knows what a quahog farmer is? No one's from Rhode Island? A quahog farmer is a clam, a clam farmer or a clamor. And the second one is, uh, is a uh, fireman. And so it's the third most injurious occupation in the United States. And those injuries actually uh, cause problems for services with large expenses, specifically insurance premiums, workman's comp and liability, I'm not telling you anything you don't know, overtime wages, loss and modified, and also the legal fees that come with this. They also result in the national medic shortage that we have right now. And for some of this, is, this is greater than others. But we have a short career cycle, and we're going to talk about specifically why that is for our medics, but also the recruiting challenges that are created with that. Are we able to go out and get highly qualified people that we need um, for our services today? And lastly, it goes without saying, uh, reimbursements are constantly an issue in our industry as well. Those are the issues that we're faced with today. Just out of curiosity, is there anything else the audience thinks that maybe we missed here with this? I mean, these are, these are the primary ones we're all faced with. Let's talk specifically though about caregiver injuries as it relates to back pain because or back the risk of EMS workers with injuries and lost work days is seven times more likely than the national average. And put it into personal standpoint from the medic, I mean it affects their career. I mean it really affects their chosen profession, both from obviously the ability to take care of their family and earn an income, their performance, their job capabilities, and also the team morale and having to cover for that person. But also on a personal level, their life, their quality of life issue as well with their family. These next two statistics actually to me bring it all home. And that is that four to five EMS workers or 80% of EMS workers have some kind of injury on the job.